Hey guys, it's Erin here with another video for tips, tools, and tech for virtual assistants. Today we're going to look at Calendly. If you're not familiar with Calendly, it's a free online scheduling software. I love using Calendly, not just because it's free, simple, and easy to set up, but because it makes booking calls with either current clients or future clients really, really easy. Plus, I think having a link that syncs up with your calendar makes you look like a more professional virtual assistant. So let's just say for the sake of this video, you are wanting to set up a Calendly link so that it's easier for prospective clients to book calls with you. And then hopefully you can pitch and land those clients when you guys connect. So first thing you're going to do is sign up and you're going to enter your email address. Of course, you can also sign on automatically with one click through Gmail, Outlook, Apple, et cetera, et cetera. When you first sign up for Calendly, your dashboard will look really similar. The first thing you might notice is that Calendly gives you your very own unique link. This is the link that you're going to share with current clients, future clients, anybody who you want somebody to book a call with you. But let's not get ahead of ourselves. Let's create an event type together. So I recommend doing event type if this is going to be a reoccurring thing like a call with prospective clients. You'll be asked whether you want to do a one on one or a group call. So we're going to create the one on one event and then we're going to start filling out the details that Calendly needs. So whenever you're naming the event name, pick something that's pretty general or generic. So I think for the most part, most people will do something like 30 minute calls, 15 minute calls. Um, you probably noticed I have those on my dashboard as well. You can also do things like VA introduction, VA onboarding. You could do VA exploratory. Wow, I can't spell it all. Exploratory. Do you guys ever find that you spell or a worse speller when people are watching. For location, we're going to default either to a phone call or you have the option to do something like Zoom, go to meeting. Um, I think Zoom and phone call are typically the most popular. So I'm gonna go ahead and say phone call. Calendly then gives us a couple other options where I could say something like, yeah, I want to call the person who's booking this time with me, or I can say, I want the person who's booking the time with me to call me. And if that's the option that you want, then you simply put your phone number here. Of course, you can change the country code, which is awesome. This brief summary is also a really good idea to include. So if you are creating something like an exploratory, you'll say, uh, let's see, we're just gonna briefly describe, say 30 minute call to explore my VA services. It could be as simple as that. Uh, you can also include links. If you wanted to link to your website, your social media site, you can bold or italicize any of this. I think the links is actually a pretty good option to include. But when you're satisfied with all the details, you're gonna hit next. Then the fun part about Calendly is it syncs to your specific calendar and availability. So you can choose to have the people who are looking at your calendar link, you can choose how many days ahead they can book with you in the future. Uh, if you are doing this for exploratory calls, I think it makes sense to do a month booking in the future. You can select your own date range, like maybe you only are taking on new clients for the month of October. Um, there are a lot of, there we go. Or you can say, hey, indefinitely, I don't care if a potential client books a call with me a year in advance. I typically keep it to a 30-day window just so I can be sure to capture interesting, interested leads when they find me in the moment. 30 minutes is pretty typical. 15 minutes is good too, but I think if you're doing an exploratory, save at least 30 minutes so that you can explain your services. You can really talk to this person who might be interested in working with you. That gives you a pretty good time frame to get a sense for what services they're looking for, uh, what their life is like, what their personal life is like, what their work life is like. Then we can also set custom hours. So this gives you total control over when you want to take calls. So for example, I don't take calls over the weekend or on Friday, but I do take potential calls between three hours uh, during the day for a specific time zone, Monday through Thursday. So you can do more than I'm doing. You can do less. You have total control over 
all of the times that you want to book calls with people. Now let's go back to my homepage and I wanna show you what a finished meeting looks like. Now on the free plan, again, you get one thing. So I wanna go ahead and turn this one on. Let's view the booking page. This means when I send out my Calendly link to future clients, this is what they see. Once they add their details and they schedule an event, they'll get this confirmation notification from Calendly. Calendly also sends out automatic emails to both you and the person booking with you. So everyone's on the same page. And then last but not least, details will get populated on your calendar too. And boom, there are the details on the calendar. So I think Calendly is a great option for anybody, but especially VAs, because it makes you look more professional. It takes some of the back and forth emailing or calendar invitations off of your plate. And if you do ever find that you need to upgrade, $8 a month is not a bad price for their services and for all the great features that you get. Hopefully this video was helpful for you. If you are not using Calendly, give it a shot. You might find that you like it. And if anything, it might just help convince future clients to hire you because you are chef's kiss so professional.